This just in from the election in Ukraine. Early exit polls show Petro Poroshenko winning the presidential vote outright in the first round of voting. The billionaire oligarch is seen as pro-Western and will likely sign a major trade deal with the European Union. But he also has extensive business interests in Russia and is not seen as an opponent of the Kremlin. Well, you should know that over 300 Canadians have spread out across Ukraine today to help oversee the vote. They are part of an official election observer mission sent by the Canadian government. Conservative MP, Parliamentary Secretary to the Minister of Defence, James Bazan, is co-leader of the mission and joins us now from Kharkiv, Ukraine. So, James Bazan, you're watching the entire voting process. What is your understanding of how fair and free the voting has been so far today? Well, Nancy, it's still um, too early for me to, to comment on, on the bigger issue other than what I've seen here in, in Kharkiv City and in uh, the uh, immediate area surrounding the uh, city of Kharkiv. So it has uh, been very calm here. A voter turnout seems to be pretty uh, decent. Uh, of course, all of us as uh, monitors have been reporting back into our uh, uh, coordinators within each oblast and that will be all correlated together uh, in Kiev over the next day. Uh, once we have all the uh, reports in we'll be able to determine how successful uh, the elections were. Uh, but I can tell you that from what uh, our team saw here today and visited over uh, 15 different election polls is that they're very well run and uh, people were engaged and uh, it's, this is a really um, Ukraine showing that they support a strong, united and sovereign Ukraine, despite uh, the provocative actions that we've seen uh, from the uh, separatists and from uh, Russia itself. And what about uh, some of the uh, interventions by activists who seem to want to uh, prevent people from actually casting a ballot? This is largely confined to eastern parts of the country, but are you hearing any more of that today? Uh, other than in the uh, Luhansk and Donetsk Oblast, where we have some challenges for sure, and, uh, and of course uh, the disenfranch disenfranchised voters in Crimea, uh, the rest of the country has seemed to have gone off uh, very well from, from what I've uh, read in, 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 in the media. And uh, here in Haraku, which is which is in the northeast corner of, of, of Ukraine, things have been uh, very uh, peaceful today, and uh, and looks like pretty strong voter turnout as well. So at this stage, you say this, the process appears to be going well. Obviously, you need more time to wait and see who reports back. But overall, it sounds to me like you think it's been a pretty good day. I, I do, and I think it, it, it's a testament to the, the the will of the people of Ukraine that want to have a democratic and prosperous country. They want to have the rule of law respected, and they want to see um, economic prosperity. Um, at the same time, you know, they, they, they're going to expect some major uh, uh, reforms, um, both from a constitutional and parliamentary standpoint, but also economically uh, from uh, the president, uh, whoever that might be. And I should just mention that polls just closed here 15 minutes ago, and we're just in the process of starting to uh, count ballots and, and uh, reporting that back into the uh, Electoral Commission. So it is, uh, you know, uh, very early stages of the ballot count, and it's going to be some time before we know who the actual winner is. Yeah, we are getting some results from exit polls already. So are you hoping that within a couple of hours we'll, we'll have a very, or at least a generally a good read of the outcome? Well, I know from uh, my experience of doing uh, previous elections here in Ukraine, it, it is a slow process. These polls are, are a lot larger than what we have in Canada, about 10 times bigger. So there's a lot more ballots to count and a lot more uh, uh, candidates involved. There's 21 people that ran for president today. And uh, so uh, there's, uh, uh, of course, all the scrutineering that goes on and, and uh, the discussions that take place late into the, in, in, into the evening and early hours of the morning. So uh, we'll be here to, to watch all of it step by step right. and ensure that, uh, you know, it is being done fairly. And, you know, the Government of Canada uh, has been very committed to ensuring that we have uh, a strong international presence here, along with the OSCE and along with the World right. Ukrainian Congress, and as well as our, our Canadian bilateral mission. James Bazan, we'll let you get back to your work, but appreciate you making time for us today. Thanks for Anytime, this. Anytime, Nancy.